What is going on guys? It's your boy Chris Cage coming at you two times back with a weekly race video. Today we are on the down and back track and by the way, if you do not know why we're on the down and back track, um, be sure you take a look at my one year anniversary special that I uploaded literally yesterday. The link will be in the description below. But for those of y'all who did check it out, yes, we are on the down and back track with our first ever King of the Down and Back track. We're going to be racing some new and some previously seen uh, realistic cars to crown our inaugural King of the Down and Back tracks. So let's not waste no further time and let's get started with our weekly race video as the first round be, uh, is going to begin. All right, guys, it is now time to start the first round. Here are the um, Vengeance and the Enterprise together, by the way. So I want to show them to you just because. So it's time to start the first round. Here are, here, here are your first two. Winner, lane four. The winner in lane four is going to go to the 2009 Corvette Stingray concept. All right, here are your next two. We have some GDM on the track. Winner, lane four. Another lane four winner, and it goes to the Mad Mike Mazda RX-7. All right, guys, here are your next two. Maserati MC12. Okay, guys, here are the next two. And if you're wondering why this car has been retooled, take a look. There's a gap right there, right in the interior. So it looks like they put a gap in, in the uh, interior piece right there. So that's probably the reason why it has been retooled because older uh, Corvette Grand Sport Roasters show, show it closed up. I don't know why, but okay. That is how the casting has been retooled. Winner, lane four. Here's the thing. Y'all need to start picking up uh, these 2018 and now starting to be 2019 Hot Wheels 5 packs with cars made from Indonesia because those cars are seriously fast. The Aston Martin DBS has gotten a win. Alright guys, here are the next two and if you can obviously see the Mustang Funny Car has been retooled, but I need your help. So here's the, oops, looks like once Enterprise just fell. Okay, so here's the Shelby GT500. It has a 2018 base, so I want somebody to. Uh, I want somebody who has this casting and an older version of this casting to please go into the comment section and tell me how this casting right here has been retooled. I have no idea how it is, because I'm usually the one who spots retools all the time, but some of them I cannot spot them. So yeah, I have no idea how they retooled this. All right, the Shelby GT500 gets the win. Here's some red Ferraris that are going to race against each other. I'm in the F512M, so you can already tell who's in the 308. Winner, lane five. All right, the F512M holds off the 308 for the win.
All right, here are the next two. Winner, lane five. Wow. The the first edition of Hot Wheels All Out Realistic Cars winner has won, and that is the um, Tesla Model X. Here we are, we have the last two right here for round one. An old Audi Sport Quattro and an even older 959. It's time to see who will move on to the second round. Winner, lane five. The brand new 84 Audi Sport Quattro gets the win. As he moves on to the second round. Here is how this round is going to look. Look at that, only two 2019 cars are moving on. And we have a Hot Wheels All Out finalist moving on as well. It's time to see who will move on to the uh, the third, I think it's the third round, right? Or no, the second round, sorry. Let's, just see, let's see who will move on to the second round. Or no, this is the end of round one. The second round is up next, so let's see if we'll move on to the third round as round two will begin uh, right now. Round two here! Now it's time to see who will uh, move on to the third round. Here is your first of four heats. I forgot to take the Porsche off the track, but the 2009 Corvette Stingray Concept is going to move on to the third round, which I think might be the semifinals. I'm not so sure yet. We're coming at you with heat number two of the second round. Aston Martin DBS. Here we are, second to the last heat. Winner, lane five. The F512M is going to move on. Alright, well here are your last two. We have a finalist and we have an Audi Sport Quattro. One of these two is going to move on to the semifinals. Let's see who got what it takes. Oh, it was a drag race all the way down the bottom. And it's going to be the Tesla Model X edging out the Audi Quattro. That looks like a highlight to me. I might want to see that again. Here, here is here is all who is moving on to the semifinals. As you see, Corvette Stingray Concept got the DBS, while it's going to be a fierce battle between the FI12M and the Tesla Model X. The semifinals featuring these four is coming up next. Yeah, buddy! Semi-finals time! We got ourselves a Corvette and then a blue Aston Martin. Somebody's gonna move on to the finals. Let's go! Winner, lane five. That DBS has a whole lot of power. Between the F512M or the Tesla Model X, 
One of these two is going to move on to challenge the Aston Martin DBS for the inaugural uh, King of the Down and Back spot. Who's going to get it? You're lucky you're um you're lucky you're a Hot Wheels All Out finalist because if you was nothing then quite frankly you just be out of here real quickly. But your winner obviously is going to be the Ferrari F five twelve them. Here's how the finals are gonna look like Aston Martin DBS versus Ferrari F five twelve M. The finals in a best two out of three run to determine the inaugural King of the Diamondback Tracks is coming up next. All right, y'all, and it all comes down to this. Will it be the Ferrari, or will it be the Aston Martin? It's time to see who will become the inaugural king of the down and back tracks. Winner, Wayne Four. DBS got his first win. If he wins again, then quite frankly, he will be the inaugural king of the down and back track. And to see what happens next. The F512M has to win this in order to um, at least keep this, keeps his hopes alive. Because if he does not, then the DBS is going to be the inaugural king. Winner! Lane 5! In a blowout fashion, we have ourselves a brand new king, and his name is the Aston Martin DBS. This car comes to us from a five pack, and if you take a look at the base, made in Indonesia. These Indonesian Hot Wheels cars, I don't know what they put into these cars, but they are fast, like the FTE cars in a way, or the high speed wheels or the high speed racing wheels cars. I don't know what they do to them, but as I keep on saying, and I'll say this until the day I turn blue or whatever, I don't care what happens to me. The bottom line is that y'all got to go and pick up some five packs because you're missing out on some fast cars. You may think they cost a lot, but you'll be happy with, with your results. That is the end of the weekly race video. Congratulations to the Aston Martin DBS for becoming the inaugural uh, King of the Down and Back Track. Well, I hope you like this video. Thumbs it up. Comment down below. If you are brand new watching this, be sure you subscribe and also turn on the notifications bell as well. Well, it's your boy Chris Cage and I'm coming at you two times and we will see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.